What's up, Brand Builder? I'm Mash Punigala, and welcome to another episode of the Brand Builder Show. In this episode, how narrowing your brand focus could bring success. So, what is your brand strategy? Are you depending on the quality of your product or service alone to build a quality brand? As Al and Laura Rees say in their awesome book, The 22 Immutable Laws of Branding, don't depend on quality alone to build your brand. To build a quality brand, you need to narrow the focus and combine that narrow focus with a better brand name and a higher price. An example case study that reveals the fallacy of expansion without a proper brand strategy and the power of the narrow focus, and this is cited by Alan Laura in their book, is the story of Boston Market, as it was originally called Boston Chicken. Now, established in 1985 by author Course and Stephen Colo with their first restaurant in Newtonville, Massachusetts, Boston Chicken won the hearts of people with their slow-roasted, marinated, rotisserie chicken. By focusing on a single offering, BC ensured they put all their focus on making the best chicken that they can. Now, this led to fantastic success, and by 1991, Boston Chicken was generating $21 million in revenue. By 1993, they went public with uh, 217 stores and revenues of $43 million. And like all companies, they start losing their focus when they get big and successful. And in 1995, Boston Chicken changed their name to Boston Market to reflect the addition of ham turkey and meatloaf and and so on and so forth for their menu, along with ready-to-eat banquet meals for the holidays. Now, along with taking on too much debt to fund the rapid expansion, this loss of focus and diluting its brand with horizontal expansion of its product base, Boston Market was down on its knees by 1998, and they had to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. In 2000, McDonald's bought Boston Market and started to revive the brand. Now, while this may be an extreme case and there were other factors involved, it's easy to see how a brand can lose its power by expanding its focus. The narrow focus strategy is wonderful, especially if you're trying to penetrate a new market segment. By narrowing your focus and trying to create a category that you then promote, you can ensure that your brand will have a slow but steady path to success. Most business owners think they have a narrow focus, but if you look closely, you will realize that most often than not, they would be trying to float a a lot of boats. They would justify this as good business or mitigating risk. In a way, it makes sense. You would want to increase the the chance of sales and and revenue by offering as many options, products, or services as you can. But hard as it may be to believe, focusing on a single product or service, or at least a category, is the best way to ensure success. So, how do you narrow your focus? If you're getting started, or even if your business has been around for a while, take an audit of what your product or service focus is. Find out if you can strip down the product or service uh, to only the most successful ones. Get rid of, at least, park the ones that are not doing so well or are costing the business time and resources to market are not bringing in too much success. This is what Steve Jobs did when he came back to Apple. By getting rid of all the line extensions and focusing on the iMac, he was able to create something truly awesome that eventually led the way to success. Even to this day, unlike some of its competitors like Samsung, Apple resists the temptation to to, to sort of lead away from its core products and services. Which of your services or products is the most successful? Focus on that one. Don't be tempted to try and diversify. For instance, if you're a business consultant, strip down your consulting services to just one or two core services. Refuse to take on smaller assignments that are not aligned with your core services, just to make a few bucks. The same goes for a clothing label venture. Don't try to launch too many lines at the same time. Focus on one line 
and do that line well. I know it's easier said than done, but think deeply about what this strategy means to your business. And tweet me if you have any questions about this strategy or how it relates to your particular business. I hope you found this episode useful. If you have any questions about this topic, like I said, please hit me on Twitter. My handle is at Bonigal. Or leave a comment below this video and I will surely respond. And if you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that when the next episode comes out, you're going to be alerted. Till my next video, take care.